Hey crafty friends, it's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share just a couple of little um, projects that I made today uh, using some of my creative time products and it was just some quick stuff. I'm kind of trying to get my little arsenal of um, tags and embellishments and stuff going for Christmas so I thought I would share with you guys what I made today. So I'm going to show you the products that I use and then I'll show you the um, the projects. So, um, I used the last month's, uh, paper pad, which is the gingerbread kisses. I love the ginghams. Absolutely love them. And then there's all kinds of cuteness in here. You guys so much. I love this pad. I should have ordered extras of these. Um, I also used the gift card tag dies. Sorry, I'll try to get these down here so you can see. You get two different tags and then you've got this cute pocket. And then you've got all these elements that you can layer onto it. Or as I'm going to show you, you can cut into it. So this is a great, to me, this is a great basic that you can use for any occasion. But um, it's also just like a really uh, well thought out set. So, you know, for Christmas, I love it. And I also use, of course, my um, mini bow dies. Love these. These are some of my favorites. I use them all the time. You see them on my projects pretty regularly. And then I use the uh, ginger boy and girl and then the uh, accessories one. So that's what I've got here. And I also use, I had picked these up from Amazon. And these are, here I'll take a couple out and show you. They're small. I have some larger ones, but these are kind of small. They're, I guess you could call them ornaments. I'm thinking they're just cute to tie on to tags and packages and whatnot. They have that little loop and you know they're that really soft, rubbery um, material. Sort of like a silicone almost. Anyway, they have several different ones in the package. I want to say, I don't know, there's at least 24 in that package. So I use those. So let me show you my pro um, projects. Now the first one I used... Um, this one, hold on, I'm going to get the tag set back out. So the first one, I'm using this tag here. This one here. And I cut that out, and I, of course, layered it with the pocket, the pocket over the top. And then what I did was I took the pattern paper, and I cut it out of this um, section here on the die. And then I went in with my scissors, and I just trimmed it out so that it would fit perfectly inside here. Um, there's my little mini bow die. This is just a little mock gift card. I don't have any gift cards in my um, craft room right now, so I just wanted to show you that your gift card would just slide right down in there. There's that little gingy die with the accessories. I did pop her up on some five millimeter foam. Isn't she cute? I just love this thing. I just, the, these gingies are just, they get my heart, I'm telling you guys. So, I got her little hat and her little dress with her little pockets. And she's holding a big spatula. And on the spatula, I used some, like, slick writing. You know, um, I think you can get them at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, pretty much anywhere. Just like a slick writer that you can use for clothes and whatnot. So I got her layered up. And I just thought that was incredibly cute. And then if you wanted to, you could finish the back. I didn't, but um, you could put like to and from and, you know, put your little message on there. You could even do a double pocket if you wanted to slide a little tag card in there. And then on the other side, do your gift card. Or or you could even slide, a, you know, cash down in there if you wanted. It's a cute, cute, cute tag set. And we have a lot of... Um, teenagers in our family so sometimes it's really hard to find gifts for them so sometimes the best thing to do is to buy them you know like their favorite yummy treat and then just give them a gift card and this would be cute tied on to a cute uh or to a fun yummy treat so and then the next thing that I made was this tag and this tag I used the rounded top one here and then I again used the pocket now, on this pocket, as you can see, I cut the Christmas tree into it. And I literally cut it into the pocket part. And then I cut it again in this pattern paper so that I could do an inlay. 
and that's how I did that and it's really nice because this is stitched on the outside and on the inside so when you use this any of these actually if you use the Christmas tree or the stocking as you can see they're double stitched on those and the ornament and then of course you've got a snowflake which I haven't used I haven't used the others this is the first time I've used this set I got it in my last order and I really 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 like it and then that's where these came in, these little rubber things. I just adhered them. I embellished the front of the Christmas tree with some of my Buttons Galore More um, jammies. And then I just took a tag out of um, one of the paper pads, which I don't have the paper pad over here, but the most recent paper pad out of the new release uh, has these cute little tags. And I just stuck a tag down in there. I know this paper pad is back ordered, but uh, Emma should get it back in the shop pretty soon. It's I knew it was going to be popular. It's so pretty. You guys are going to love it. And again, I used the mini bow die. Super simple. And like I said, you could finish out the front or, or the back. Super simple. So that is the small little project share that I wanted to do for you guys today. Um, if you've not picked up these gingies yet oh my gosh why not and this tag die is just amazing because like I said it's so versatile so all the products will be linked below until the next crafty video happy crafting you guys